The Morning Office for March 22nd. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior, of those who take refuge at your right hand, from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me, and have become my salvation. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light and the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The morning reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 31 through 32. Jesus taught the people, saying, Now sentence is being passed on this world. Now the prince of this world is to be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all people to myself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The morning psalm is read from Psalms chapter 8, verses 1 through 10. O Lord, our governor, how excellent is your name, and it is exalted in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him but a little lower than the angels. You adorn him with glory and honor. You have given him mastery over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how excellent and exalted is your name in all the world. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The people who have dwelt in darkness have seen a great light. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, whose glory it always is to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways, and bring us again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all I do direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.